What's up guys, back with another tutorial video here and this is actually my second tutorial video of actually like speaking over me of me editing so I think the last one went pretty well, the feedback was pretty good so I'm going to carry on with it, I mean I think it's helpful to you guys, hopefully I can try and help you guys in designing and you guys can help me as well in, in, with the feedback and everything like that so this edit is on Pascal Gross as you can see this is um, a bit of his triumph against United in the first game of the season when they beat when they beat him beat United 2-1, Pascal Goyes scored both the goals, so I thought he rightfully deserved an edit. I really enjoyed this edit, it was um, more of a simple kind of edit, um, sort of just, yeah, it was not as much assets, mainly just Pascal Gross and um, just a few sort of patterns in the background, so we'll get started with it. So the first thing I did was I got um, a render of Pascal Gross, and this was actually just from Twitter, just an image I found, I wanted to find like a high quality one, so I um, found an image of him and then I just cut him out. And the uh, easiest way I did that was uh, going to um, subject in the uh, filter menu, and you just um, yeah click subject and it sort of does a quick selection of them, and then I click the mask tool and um, mask them out. And other than that I just got the lasso tool, um, filled in the... Uh, like the gaps, I didn't quite um, get them when when it masked him, and after that, just sort of smooth smooth the edges with a with a with an erase with the erase tool. So um, pretty simple for the start. So once I had them all um, cut out, everything was looking good. I um, then, uh, as you can see, I did a gradient um, in the background. That's what the kind of design I was going for: a darker gradient at the bottom, moving into a, a light one into the top. So I obviously wanted to go for a kind of bright and themed gradient, the same colour as the kit. That's what I was wanting to go for. And then um, next I just uh, selected Pascal Gross, the subject, and went into Camel Filter just to play around with um, some of the textures, the shadows and highlights. This is all to you, what, sort of just what you want to be honest. You look at it, if it stands out to you, it's important. This is one of the most important things I find in, um, in making your subject stand out. Just, it makes a complete difference from the first image to to when it's um when X is camera or filter. It just looks a lot more sharper and just the highlights are better. So next I went into colour look up and I added um a three strip look and I always use this with all my um players. It just uh brings a bit more vibrance to the player, which I quite like. Especially in um in posters, it just makes them stand out again. As you can see here, I've found like a kind of an image of that like short grass. Um, next thing I did, I masked the grass and then Command I to invert it so it disappears. And then you get the white brush tool. And you just brush underneath. We have quite a low flow, and, uh, and then just then it will appear. This is the kind of design I was going for. I didn't want to have just a, a big block of grass below. Just wanted it below the, below um, Pascal Gross and just below his feet. I thought it was quite a cool effect. After painting up the um, the grass underneath Gross, then I um, created a new layer, and this is when I went on to um, add the shadows underneath his feet. This is just done by um, just uh, by the uh, the brush tool, finding a nice um, black colour, and then um, having the flow quarter down to about ten percent. I always find works quite well, and you just paint underneath the foot. This is all just down to your kind of perspective sort of look where the foot is, where it's angled and just yeah and make sure it just looks sort of realistic in the way he's running, the direction he's running. After the shadows were done then I um, had a new layer of exposure and I um, 
dropped the exposure down and then inverted it again. Got the black brush tool and sorry, not the black brush tool, the white brush tool. And I just started um, bringing some uh, shadows. Started start from the legs, just um, getting those shadows, bringing a bit more realism to um, Pascal Gross. As you can see, it's already making a difference. It's just sort of um, finding where the shadows are on the on um, the subject already, but just making them a little bit darker, especially under the legs. I feel that really makes a difference. There's loads of different ways you can do shadows. It doesn't have to be the exposure. You can use levels, bring levels down, but also you can just use the burn tool. Um, if you don't know what the burn tool is, it's on the left um, toolbar. It looks like a hand that's sort of grabbing something, but um, I, in, in another video I can um, show you how that works. Next, I moved on to the background, which was uh, I just I got some, got the shape tool, rectangle tool, and I just basically drew out a line. And I made it the colour of um, the Brighton's yellow bit in the kit, sort of an orangey kind of yellow. And uh, then I just I found it quite cool, just uh, had like kind of a ladder effect behind Gross, just going down. And um, yeah, I thought it just looked, in the end looked quite cool. I wanted to go for kind of a, quite a simple kind of design effective in the same way. So as you can see there, I found the Brighton badge, uh, a PNG kind of version, where I just wanted the lines, not the actual um, whole badge. And then I am um, just, um, I wanted to fade it into the background, have it quite subtly in the background that you can see it, but not too much. And I just did this by overlaying it over the top of um, the gradient. So now I, um, I've got the dodge tool, this is the opposite of the burn tool which I was speaking about earlier and I'm just going over some um, highlights on the face, just trying to make its um, face stand out a little bit more, a little bit sharper. And then also on the hands, just yeah, just on sort of the skin, just to bring out the highlights a bit more. So next I um, made a rectangle tool and I um, it was in the colour yellow which we've been using for the uh, the other little um, kind of lines behind him as the ladder and then I uh, turned it to colour dodge and I thought it made a really nice gradient kind of colour in the shape and then basically yeah, I just sort of just played around with it and put it to the side I thought it looked quite cool there's two kind of pillars with him in the middle so yeah I thought the colour worked really well with the kind of yellow into the nice kind of pink at the bottom it just sort of colour match the, uh, the, the edit quite well. So now I'm adding in um, the text, the typography. Um, I'm just trying to find the, um, the, the the S kind of symbol. As it, I still don't really know how to do that. Add that in on Photoshop. If anyone knows, tell me how to get special characters. But um, no, I'll just go on to copy it from um, the internet and then put it in. Oh no, and then it looks like I decided to not do it <laughs> after looking at it. I've just added the English version of Gross, so that's what we've done. Um, got a nice kind of Babis new kind of font, quite a smart one in below. 
um, a kind of more kind of like uh, swiggly kind of uh, pen kind of text which I thought looked quite cool quite effective Uh, next, then I just add an exposure overlay and dropped it and um, pushed it up on the uh, rectangles or the lines, the ladder, if we call it. And then just um, inverted it again and then used the paintbrush in white to um, just sort of make the inside just behind him a little bit more yellow. And then it fades out to a nice orange in the background. So um, next I just convert all my um, kind of the background and the whole piece into a smart jet and also added um, noise and which is equivalent to grain just uh, smoothens out the, uh, the piece and a lot of good designers use it just quite, um, just, it's just quite a um, cool kind of effect having the piece it's quite nice it's more appealing to look at and um, yeah that's basically it really and then after that once, once um, it's all converted, I go into camera raw filter and just play around with uh, the texture again, saturation, some highlights and um, just the final kind of touches to the piece and lastly I go into colour grading just play around with the colours and darken a few colours, obviously lighting and uh, yeah just sort of just, just improve saturation and the saturation of colours um, if you want them close to be a little bit lighter or have like a tint of blue yeah, it just sort of makes the piece stand out even more. And uh, that's a nice kind of promise to the piece. Right guys, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the final product of the edit. I did. Uh, I think it looks quite um quite neat, quite a simple design, but effective in the same way. Um, also let me know in the comments uh, what designs you'd like me to do next, any players or teams in mind, I'm happy to do it. And uh, hit the thumbs up if you liked the video, hit the thumbs down if you didn't, let me know that all counts in the reviews and yeah, either way it helps me progress as a YouTuber. And uh, other than that, um, keep well and I'll see you next time for the next video.